I'm going to quickly show you how to create a processor in ServiceNow that can be accessed without doing basic authentication. So essentially making this processor public. Now in order to do that, let's jump over to um, my test instance here. And let's go to create a processor. And we'll create a new processor. And we'll call this processor Hello World. And we'll make it a scripted processor. And we'll make the path be hello meaning we get to it by just doing slash hello dot do and all this processor is going to do is write to the screen uh, hello world okay so we're going to go we're going to go ahead and save that and now what we're going to do is test it so I'm going to Uh, type in the URL for that processor, hit enter, and we'll see our hello world message. Now that's all well and good because we are authenticated into the system already, but let's say that we are not authenticated into the system. So what I'm going to do is let's open up um, an incognito browser in Chrome. And let's go to that same URL, hello.do. And as you can see here, we're being asked for authentication. Now the object of this is to have a public processor that does not require authentication. So let's cancel out and go over what we need to do next. So the next step in order to make this public is to jump back over to our instance. And in this navigation pane here, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, type in the filter sys underscore public dot list. Now, that will bring up a public pages uh, page. It's, it's kind of hidden, but it, it's still accessible. I'll click New, and I'll name the name of my processor, which was Hello. Uh, this only works with path processors. And so I'll hit Submit. And now let's jump over to our incognito window, and let's try this again. As you can see, no authentication was required, and we got the Hello World message from our hello path processor. So that is what you do to make a scripted path processor public. Thank you for watching.